Hello and welcome to the Gail Hill Radio Hour. I'm your host, Kate Jones, here with a follow-up to my January 2022 conversation with Jack Torrey. He's the author of The Last One Out, the acclaimed biography chronicling the life of Yates McDaniel, a daring reporter in World War II. Since that interview, which took place shortly after the book was published, Jack has received many kudos and five-star reviews for his excellent storytelling and thorough reporting. Here's what one reviewer wrote. A fascinating story about an understudied but important historical figure. Another said, World War II has been over for nearly 80 years, but the horrors and hard-earned triumphs of the Allies-Pacific campaign come alive in Jack Torrey's superb account. That's a mere sampling of what has been written about Jack's book. So I think his interview is well worth hearing again. The following is an excerpt in which he talks about McDaniel, a once world-famous war correspondent who died in relative obscurity. And on the memorial um, to the Nanking Massacre in, in what is now known as Nanjing, they quote one of Yates' stories, which ends with the my last memories of Dan King are dead Chinese, dead Chinese, dead Chinese. Oh, my gosh. What a sentence that is. Mm-hmm. He's a great writer. I mean, his his uh, is when he was in Singapore, he was the last Western reporter to leave. OK. And, you know, they, he he's sitting there in. Um, in his um, hotel room in Singapore, he's got a British censor next to him who's having breakfast of uh, biscuits and brandy. And he's got another PR guy next to him saying, come on, we got to get going. We got to get going. And Yates writes his, his what became known as his goodbye to Singapore. And the opening line is the sky over Singapore is black with the smoke of a dozen huge fires. As I write my last message from this once beautiful, prosperous, and peaceful city. Oh, uh, that's quite beautiful, and it mm-hmm. sums it all up, doesn't it? It does. It does. It's a great story, and um, every now and again, it pops up. Uh, Robert Weintraub, who used to be at the New York Times, um, wrote a book about. Um, uh, and I'm going to look it up here while I'm at it. He wrote a book about a British officer who escaped from Singapore and was in large part saved by his dog, whose name was Judy. No better friend. One dog, one man, one dog, and their extraordinary story of courage and survival. It's a really good book. Uh, I would recommend it highly. But in there, uh, he, he mentions Yeats, who was at, at that time uh, in Singapore, And he quotes from the Goodbye to Singapore story, which was printed all over the world in British, American, Australian papers. Um, And and he was like this international star at that time. Um, And he was uh, on his escape from Singapore in this rickety old Yangtze River steamer. The boat was sunk by the Japanese and about 132 survivors got to a deserted island. And they uh, waited for a rescue ship, and that's where the cover photo comes from. Yates is sitting on a fallen log, typing his notes, and and uh, it's it's just uh, it's an incredible story. And like I said, he should not have survived. Hope you enjoyed this segment of Jack Torrey's interview. To hear the interview in its entirety, please go to episode fourteen of the Gale Hill Radio Hour. This is Kate Jones. Until next time. Thanks for joining us. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you.